what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel white shadow 6.2 here my camera phone tips i apologize i don't have my actual tripod with me but i want to first apologize for doing a little bit of a mislead on my instagram a couple days ago in regards to the tires going on i uh, got a call from the guy who's putting them on saying he can't fit 20 inch rims on his machine but told me he could so i had to call another place and i had to at least call maybe three other shops after that finally just got them on um as you can tell by my instagram post the i want to say a week ago now i'm going to butcher the name because i don't know how the hell they pronounce it antars deep digger mts uh I want to point uh, a quick thing out. They are a Chinese manufacturer tire, but they are, and I like in all honesty, they are pretty incredible. Made they are a 10 ply, they're 35 by 12 and a half R20s. And um, let's see, hurry up, buddy. I'm, I'm just currently driving home now. Again, I'm all put on and figured, uh, I do a proper review. We figure I give you guys a proper review and um, not just give you guys kind of like a false hope in a sense for me giving them a rating on how they are before I even drive on them. Well, let me just say this right now where the roads I have to take, there's pavement, gravel, dirt, and I will say big shout out to four wheel performance out in uh, Hanover these guys did an incredible job and, uh, and balancing put them on and everything they had no issues with them but yeah so on to the review here they in all honesty with them being on compared to my old set these it's night and day you can clearly tell from one Chinese brand to another just with a little bit of shopping around and uh which ones you go for it makes a big difference um my former tires as you guys know were the janelle but uh no these tires they're not they are a mud tire but they kind of it's not the typical mud tire pattern they do have some uh pretty good beefy side lugs they got some beefy uh inner tread and all that they're not too aggressive on the the actual sidewall themselves. There's not a, they're not anything fancy like that, but they uh, overall they are a pretty aggressive looking tire. And all considering, I think I was right around the twelve hundred dollar mark when I bought them from PMC Tire, and those guys went above and beyond for me as I originally wanted one set of tires. And they weren't in stock, so they got a hold of me real quick and uh, gave me a few options. And god damn, I'm sweating like a pig as it is hot today. But um, get on with these tires here. So, first, I guess the first biggest point for everybody Chinese made how is the ride and how is the ride comfort? Well, I could say. Right now, I've probably been driving them for about half an hour, give or take, because I took a little detour, and they ride nice. There's no uneven nothing, or don't feel uneven in any spots. They ride true, and they are a true 35 too, so I'm pretty impressed by those. Um, and sound, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up because I'm using my cell phone, um, but they're not overly loud or they're not really loud to be honest they do have a nice sound when you're going higher speeds and such but they're not obnoxious or anything like that but when it comes to the off-road and gravel capabilities are you going to slip and slide or whatnot no now I was experiencing a little bit of wandering just because I gotta still do my drag link and my tie rods but, or the top or the drag link and the tie rod there but other than that minus my own vehicle and maintenance uh whatever there 
when a truck was steady going straight, man, do, do these tires just grip. Um, I think per tire they were about 250 bucks. Now that 1200 was with shipping too, and I will say they came in dead on 24 hours. So big thank you to FedEx for that one. Um, I may throw a clip in another video on kind of like, or actually, you know what? In another video, I'll make a one month review on how I really, how I feel about them after driving them for a little while, because I do carry heavy loads on this truck, or as heavy as I can with two broken rear leaf springs. Um, but in all honesty, they grip the road real nice. They dry or they feel real good on the road. There's no bouncing, no nothing. Um, no, no uh, I don't want to say annoying, but not an overbearing noise they make. You still get a little bit of a noise. Uh, honestly, they're a great aggressive tire from what I'm seeing so far. So my next, I'd probably say I'll do within five videos because I actually got a couple of things coming up. Uh, I'll do a whatever month that may be from now I do an update video on them see how the tread wear is because we'll be hitting up some back roads and whatnot uh, the next few days honestly and uh, by then I'll actually have my <clears throat> SD card for my other camera because that's the only reason why I'm not filming on it but no these An Antars Deep Digger MTs they have the white shadow stamp of approval uh, honestly, if you want to get, a, I can't, I don't even want to call them a budget tire because yeah, they're cheaper than your brand name, Toyos, Nittos, BFGs, uh, Mickey Thompson's, uh, well, hell, even Firestone MTs are up there too in price, but, uh, no, these tires, I don't want to call them a budget. They're kind of like the mid range price in a sense is what I can probably say, but they are the best bang for your buck from my first impressions here. I wanted to wait to say that until I actually put them on and start driving. So here is me saying, I think they're the best bang for your buck. And uh, next thing I could say is uh, I may do a video when it's winter to see how well they perform in the snow. Cause there wasn't, I guess there wasn't enough data from people buying them to give it try or all the ratings for the snow and the reviews of overall whichever but um, yeah these uh, I give them a stamp of approval so if you're looking for a good uh, bunch of tire and in general just a good tire or some good tires and prices that no one else is going to be able to beat definitely go ahead up pmctire.com they are stationed out in, I believe, Quebec. And these guys, they do everything they can to get your service and make sure you're happy and satisfied. And I applaud them 100% for that one. So all I can say is stay tuned for an update video on these tires if you're holding off in regards for an updated review. So stay tuned for that and all. Oh, I've been thinking about this for the past little while uh, in regards to doing a giveaway, a subscriber giveaway. Now I was contemplating doing an Instagram giveaway or a YouTube giveaway. So I wanna give this a shot. If we can get, you know what? I think I'm at only a couple subscribers right now. So if we can get up to a hundred subscribers and um, like, comment, Give me all your opinions on this video and all my other videos just to help out the YouTube uh, algorithm there. Uh, if we can get 100 subscribers, I will be pick, posting a post on my uh, Instagram there at whitechild 6.2. They actually, my Instagram sees everything first, so why don't, after this video, why don't you go check my Instagram out? But uh, once we hit 100 subs, I'll be making a video I'm making a post on Instagram to stay in when I'm going to be doing the subscriber giveaway, which I might actually, 
you know what? I'm not going to tell you guys what it is right now, but it's actually going to be pretty cool. Uh, some people it may help out actually, and some other people it may be like bonus. I don't have to buy it right now. So we're going to, like I said, do a hundred hundred sub giveaway. I'm going to post a post on Instagram when we hit when we reach the hundred subs. Stay in when I'm going to be making that video. Then I'm going to be posting a video on this YouTube channel here. Uh, naming off the winner and everything and then when if you when you get picked make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram so I can get a hold of you and give, get all your contact info and then we can go from there all right I'm going to sign off now because I got folks on driving and put the AC on I'm dying in here so go check out my Instagram at whitechow 6.2 and why not subscribe to this chance subscribe to my channel like and put a comment on this video of what you think and your, I guess, what you guys like or what not on uh, the channel so far in this video. So stay safe and see you guys in the next video.